why would it go through all this? What's, what's the whole point? Well, this is how the receiver actually validates that this is a, um, a real certificate, uh, nobody just made it up, and that, that it can actually be trusted. So when I send my uh, digital certificate over to you, you're not going to just trust that, um, that be, it came from me and, and you're not going to trust me. You're also not going to just trust this digital certificate without um, making sure that it, that it has not been modified and you actually trust who created it. So you're going to, your system is going to validate the signature. And remember, we've actually walked through this, but we'll do it again. So I send you my uh, digital certificate. You take that digital certificate and you run it through the same hashing algorithm. Now you know what hashing algorithm to use because it's in the certificate. It's already, it says which, which algorithm to use. So you take my digital certificate, you run it through the hashing algorithm, you come up with your own message digest value. Now remember that this uh, certificate is signed and it's signed by the a certificate authority. Now, if your system trusts the uh, certificate authority, it's actually in a list in your computer. The CA, the certificate authority, is in a list of trusted CAs, and you have its public key. If you trust the CA, you already have the public key. So you're going to validate the actual uh, signature on the digital uh, certificate by taking that public key of the CA and decrypting the digital signature, extracting the message digest value, and then comparing that to the message digest value you created individually. If they match, then you know that the um, certificate has not been modified, but you also know because you use that CA's public key and you were able to decrypt the signature, you know that it actually came from the CA that you trust. And that's really what this whole thing is about, is that you trust, your system trusts the CA, and you're going to validate that this digital certificate actually came from the entity you trust. And how do you validate that? You have its public key if you already trust the CA, and you're going to decrypt, which means verify, the digital signature if you could decrypt that digital signature and pull out the MD value, that proves that it was the CA's private key that was used uh, to encrypt it. And it also looks at the integrity. How do you know the integrity of the message digest? I'm sorry, I just gave it away. How do you know the integrity of the digital certificate is uh, intact? How do you know that nobody messed with it? Because you create your own message digest value and you compare it to the message digest value that came along with the certificate. So this process, this digital certificate, um, when I send it over to you, the CA is vouching for me. You know it came from the CA because, there's a di because it's digitally signed. And you know that the uh, certificate has not been modified because you compare the two um, MD values.